Today we're gonna talk about animation in the brand new Mystica Beta to teach you how to animate your stitch point and how to animate your orientation of your video after you use 260 stabilization. Let's get started. What's up everybody, it's your boy Hugh here from Creator Up. Today we got to talk about the brand new release of the Mystical VR animation feature. So that is a very exciting release because before that I still use the auto video panel sometimes because they have that masking tool and animation tool can animate the stitch line to protect the actor. But why now we can do exactly the same with Mystical VR, the brand new animation tool. And also I can literally animate any property inside the Mystical VR window. That's including color, stitch point, stitch point size, and then also orientation. So there's situation like after you use stabilization, your center of your video is drifting apart because the animation uh, add on the video. You can use it to recenter your point to make sure that your viewer have a headlock at the front so you will not have this weird slightly drifting video effect that make people have headache after after stabilization. So I'll teach you exactly how to do that step by step right now. So now we are in the brand new Mystica Beta. This is a footage shot with the Insta360 Pro stitch with the brand new Insta360 Pro calibration. It's shot in 8K. It's a drone footage. So I have this clip. So usually you probably don't even use this takeoff footage, but I want, because this is a great example, as you see right here, this platform, because I have really defined straight line. So anything in between the stitch line, you're gonna have this crazy weird optical flow effect. So if I go ahead and play it, you can see it. Right, Joe's flying, getting ready to take off, but this, you see here is going crazy. And this entire thing gonna be crazy. Okay, we're gonna start from here. So basically, we want to like this is an actual very very challenging situation for moving the stitch point to fixing the stitch. So let's hit this button and go ahead and go back to the beginning of area. The reason why you want to animate stitch point is mostly because you are on and some kind of rover or drone because rover and drone is in a constant motion so your camera is in motion so when camera in motion and the actor is also in motion that will uh, usually need to animate the camera stitch point to actually match up with the area you want to protect so that is why it's so important to have an animation feature on Mythica so as you see uh, let me just go ahead and play it and you see the drone is that on the ground but if you jump on a couple frame, you see it fly up, it take off. The whole camera is in a motion. Right here, on here, let's go ahead and add the edge point right here, at the edge point. So around right here. So after hit that, go ahead and hit control. Oh, sorry, it's not control, it's shift. And drag up, will increase see that little triangle, will increase the size of your edge point. So why not we'll protect the entire pole right here, the red pole right here. So now it look correct in the scene. And then when it start to take off, let's just go ahead and play it. You see that right here, it getting crazy again because the edge point is moving up. So the ideal scenario, you want to animate this edge point from this point, drop down back into here. So this thing, why the movement going upward, your edge point going downwards to protect the area until the drone fly out of this entire platform. So you don't need to because this vertical line will be out frame. So you don't need to protect them anymore. So that's what we're going to do. So go back into first frame again. So first, let's start from here. So go ahead. Uh, again, when you open Mystica, the edge point window is usually minimized. Uh, so if you drag over here, so make sure you see the edge point, all the properties right here, and the yard and the pitch is the one you want to animate. So go ahead and hit that, and on the first frame, right click, hit add keyframe. So we'll add a keyframe right here at the beginning of the video, and then go ahead and play it. So pay attention on the drone, still haven't take off yet. 
So now start takeoff right here. Or we'll stop the playhead. So I will grab. So see, I click the P4 edge point. Grab it, move it down right here. If you pay attention to the yard and pitch, the value is changing. But also the color is light green. It's actually green color. It's meaning that 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 is, if you see this color, meaning that there is a key point, key frame right here. So anything in between, see when you like value in between, meaning tuning between one key frame to other key frame, the, the color is like light blue. So that is how you know visually, like where is the key point? So why not there's no key point? But if you hit right here, to the next key point, the color is green. So you see the key point. So as you see, the animation is from the edge point here, all the way to here. So go ahead and do a preview of it. Edge point is moving. There you go. And I would like to make things perfect. So uh, you see that actually the drone is not even start taking off. So the drone is actually still on the ground right here. Let's move a couple more frames. The drone probably start take off right here. So actually there's no need to move the animation point. The P4 until the drone start take off. That is not the keyframe you want to insert here. So it's actually right here. So I will actually go ahead and here add a keyframe. So make sure that it's actually not moving right here. So basically what I just did is because I know that the drone's not gonna take off until on this, this keyframe. So on this keyframe, you want to move the edge point, but before that, I don't want this to move. So the shape of this pole will not changing. So let's just take a look again, and you see what I'm talking about. So right now, this pole is in frame. Look perfect, look perfect, look perfect. Start taking off, see, moving it to protect the pole. So the pole will not change in shape. So the last thing I want to show you, uh, also is my tips too. The keyframe is still here but you know the whole sequence you don't really need this anymore so i kind of want to just get rid of it basically animate this keyframe out of it each edge point actually have a size value so if the size drop to zero meaning that the edge point is gone so i can go ahead and using the position keyframe drop the last frame right here and then here on the size i go ahead and again add a keyframe and then just slowly, probably about right here. This should not have any edge point. So I will animate the size to just type in the keypad zero. So now insert a keyframe. So go back here, drop in to the beginning of the frame. We'll take a look at the whole frame. So not moving, not moving, not moving. And then the drone start take off, moving for the drone. And then see shrink down. And then this is gone. This edge point is actually gone. Okay, that is an example of how you animate edge point with the brand new animation feature. Let's take a look at the different scenario that I will use edge point. So that is, this is actually also shot with the Insta360 Pro, but this time it's on a rover. It's actually on the brand new rover designed by Gimbal Guru, and it's actually captured me running a run view. Let's take a look at the footage. I believe I already added all the animation here. So here actually the final result, so take a look. Great, it's, it's pretty stable and, and it's headlock, everything look correct. That is actually the final result, right? Uh, that's what it should look like. But actually before animation, before stabilization, that is actually what it looked like. Let me just actually reset the animation to default value. So get rid of all those green keyframe, as you see. Let's take a look at actually what it looked like after stabilization. So again, first the pointing direction is actually wrong. But I will just flip it right here. Here. So go ahead and play it. That is actually similar to the headset mode, right? So, okay, is you see that the center point is drifting, like like the whole frame is like kind of drifting on the left. If you see it in the VR goggle, but actually getting worse. Look at that. <laughs> 
And what happened is actually this thing is turning, which if you are a roller operator, that's the one tip uh, you, you never want to like turn your roller for your viewer because uh, when viewer watching this in a VR headset, they want to make the call to turn left or right. You should not like force them to turn their head. That is actually one major reason why make people have a headache. Uh, uh, by the way, this is also a stereoscopic footage, as you see. It's actually stereoscopic footage just makes things worse because you, you should just never turn your roller, let viewer to turn it. So you, you basically go front, forward, backward, left and right, but always don't go diagonal or turn your roller for, for no reason. But